So coding problems are really easy. That's what I thought and I went on the lead code to solve the problem. After spending so much of time, I was able to solve only two questions. I was getting frustrated as I was looking a solution of every problem that I was solving. After facing such hurdles, I managed to solve nearly 450 plus problems on lead code. Today, in this video, I'm going to tell you two important things. Number one, what are the things I learned along the processes and the mistakes I did? Number two, I'm going to answer one of the most important questions that is how to know whether you are ready for the big tech companies or not. So without investing time, let's start the video. Mistake number one, practicing lead code questions without knowing the fundamentals of data structures and algorithms. Most people try to solve the lead code problems without knowing the fundamentals of data structures and algorithms. They do solve for a while and eventually they get stuck and they give up. If you are beginning to the lead code problems, make sure your fundamentals of data structures and algorithms are thoroughly clear with. And at the same time, you should get familiar with one of the programming language. If you are confused which programming language to choose or if you are a beginner, I prefer to go for a python since it's easy to practice and easy to learn. Now, once your fundamentals of data structures and algorithms are clear and you're familiar with one of the programming language, we are ready to roll the lead code problems. Mistake number two, focusing more on medium and hard level problems. As we know that lead code problems are mainly tagged as easy, medium and hard level problems based on their difficulty level. Most of the students focuses more on medium and hard level problems at the beginning. And this leads to the discouragement as we are unable to solve this problem. Let me tell you one thing that interviews are mainly focuses more on easy and the medium level problems. So make sure that we have solved enough easy level problems before jumping onto the medium and hard level problems. So this will help us to learn the patterns and the type of question is asked. Try solving at least 10 easy level problems on each topics before jumping onto the medium and hard level problem. Mistake number three, jumping from one problem to another problem. At the beginning, when I started practicing lead code, I used to jump from one problem to another problem when I was unable to solve the given problem. And this led to even more frustration as I was barely used to solve a single problem. So here's a simple trick if you're tackling any of the lead code problem. Number one, give at least 30 minutes of time to any questions you are solving. Number two, if you are unable to solve the problem in a 30 minutes, go in the solution section and check how to solve this problem. And once you check the solution, try to code the problem by yourself. Number three, mark that question as a favorite and try solving the question without seeing the solution the next day. Try to develop this habit because eventually what happens is, it will lead to the habit of thinking on the same problem for a longer period of time. And this is the best way to develop your logic to the data structures and algorithms. Mistake number four, solving the lead code problems just to increase your counts. I have observed many people solve the lead code problem just to increase their count of a number of problems they have solved. This leads to the develop the habit of solving the problems rather than learning and identifying the patterns on which this question is asked. If you do so, what normally happen is, if any person gives you some bit different problems, you stumble across because you don't know which pattern this question is based on or which pattern I can apply on this problem in order to solve. So what I tell you that whenever you're practicing or solving any lead code problem, try and identify which pattern this question is based on. Figure it out which pattern I can apply on this question so that I can tackle this problem in less amount of time. Don't rush, give it enough amount of time because developing the logic and intuition and identifying the patterns takes a little bit of time from person to the person. Now here's the bonus tip for you. How to know that whether you're ready for the big tech companies or not. As I told you earlier that interview mainly tends to focus on medium level problems on lead code. So if you're able to solve any medium level problems in less than 30 to 35 minutes, it means that you're ready for the big tech companies. So I hope this video has helped you a little bit in order to excel your journey in the lead code. If you're new to the runtime error, Please, please, please do subscribe to the channel to get more such informative videos and excel your journey in the data sectors. Till then, have a happy coding.